Hello, hello. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. Appreciate you coming by. So today I am doing a follow up to the 10 sexiest male vampire characters. And today I am doing the top 10 sexiest women vampire characters. Um, there could have been a few extras that I could have done um, because there's a few different vampires on one of the series that um, there's quite a few vampires on, which is True Blood. But um, I just wanted to keep it in the top 10. I know that's two less than the men, but I mean, it is what it is, right? Anyway, so these are, this is clearly my opinion. Um, and you can agree or disagree, but hopefully you'll just like looking at these beautiful women in and of themselves. So let's get right into this video, shall we? Welcome to Cat's Crazy Corner. So again, today I am doing my top 10 sexiest female vampire characters. Um, again, most of you already know, um, or those of you who know me, know that I am a huge vampire buff. But again, not the glittery Twilight ones. Although, yes, there is in this list as well, there is one from the Twilight series. Just because, um, again, this is the sexy and you know, beautiful women. So there had to be one from there because there are a couple of sexy, beautiful women on there that are um, vampire characters. So the first one um, is going to be Nina Dobrev um, from The Vampire Diaries. She played Elena. Now I am not familiar with the series. Um, I've heard it's quite good. Um, I haven't checked it out yet, so I can't really say much. I mean, Nina is just a beautiful woman anyway thing that disappointed me though is that I looked through lots and lots and lots of pictures trying to find a photo of her with her vampire fangs out and I couldn't find any and that's a little disappointing because she's supposed to be a vampire why isn't there at least one photo of her with her vampire fangs out so that's why she's number 10 not because she's not beautiful but because there's no fangs and that gets knocked down to the bottom so so then let's go to number nine we have Chantel Riley from Wyatt Earp she played Kate. Um, she, again, this is not a series that I am familiar with. I think I tried to watch it when it first came out. Um, and I just, maybe it's the first show that was just really slow or something. I just couldn't get into it. So again, I don't know much about this character or anything like that. Um, so I'm just going off of, you know, um, kind of, I did a lot of different searches under different things to see what other people think are as far as sexy women, you know, vampire characters, and she popped up on a few of those, so that's why I wanted to include her. So, again, she's very beautiful. Um, then we're going to go to number eight. Now, this is an oldie but a goodie. Um, this is Lauren Hutton in Once Bitten, um, and she was the Countess. Now, this is from a 1985 movie. Yes, that's how old this is, but... <laughs> She played a very beautiful, sexy vampire, but I mean, Lauren Hutton is extremely beautiful in and of herself, so just adding in those fangs, it's not like it was going to really deter from that. <laughs> so had to include her, um, even though again, it's from 1985, but again, she's just stunningly beautiful. She's a very sexy woman for that time. So then we go to number seven. Um, I have to include her. Um, I have seen this movie, so this is... Jennifer Esposito from Dracula 2000 um, and she was Selena and I saw this movie um, she didn't have like a huge part in it but she's she is she's a very beautiful woman and adding her into you know being a vampire character that made her sexier like she's just a very very beautiful sexy woman anyway so had to include Miss Esposito in this in this little list of top tens so then we're going to go to number six. And here we are with Miss Nikki Reed from Twilight as Rosalie Hale. Um, again, um, couldn't find tons of pictures that portrayed her in a, you know, vampire, real vampire light. Um, but she is a very beautiful woman. Um, Nikki Reed is a very beautiful woman. So had to include her. I mean, she is very sexy as well, you know. But again, I did watch the first Twilight so that's how I'm familiar with her character so I can include her in this list because I did see that first one I just couldn't get past that one <laughs> so now we're in the top five um so now the next one that we have 
this is uh, Evan, I mean, excuse me, yes, Evan Rachel Wood, who, this is from True Blood, she played Sophie Ann. She was like the queen of all vampires. Like, her character was fantastic. And on top of the fact that she just, look at her, she's just so gorgeous as, you know, in her non-vampire form. And she's even sexier, like, when she's in her vampire form. And it doesn't hurt that she's a sexy redhead, too, you know. Granted, again, yes, I'm still in the purples, but I'm still a natural redhead, so of course I can talk about the redheaded women. But this, she played this character so great. I mean, she really was a sultry, sexy, evil vampire. Like, she fit this role perfectly, and she is extremely beautiful in this particular show. Um, now we have a second one from the True Blood series, and that is Miss Kristen Bauer. She played Pam in True Blood. Um, again, Pam, you know, was uh, Eric Northman's uh, nemesis, not nemesis, um, he had turned her. Um, so basically she was like, he was her master, you, I guess you could so say. Um, and she always dressed to the hills. Like Pam was always very, very sexy. She was very sultry. She was an asshole. She was a bitch. Like, she, this role was great for Kristen to play and again she's very sexy so of course I had to include her in this because even as the fangs are out like you're still like oh yeah yeah I'm sure that there's men who would be like oh yeah you could bite me you could definitely bite me <laughs> now this next one I mean it's a given because of who she is we have Miss Selma Hayek who played Santiago Pandemonium from the movie from Dusk Till Dawn, which this is again is an older movie from 1996, but I mean, it's Selma Hayek. Look at her. Jesus. I mean, you really don't even have to say much about her because she's simply sexy as hell. Like, she is just so exotically beautiful. Like, man, you, you can't not have her. She's probably going to be on a lot of lists of things if I do other lists of stuff because she's in a lot of movies and she's extremely sexy and beautiful. And she turns into this ghastly <laughs> vampire but it was fantastic like she did a great job playing this role so now we're at my number two um and the only reason probably that she is my number two is because my number one i'm very biased by so <laughs> let's go to the, our number two which is miss alia and she played queen akasha from queen of the damned um that was a um, little bit older movie too but um i mean what can you say about Aaliyah? I mean, Aaliyah, again, stunningly sexy. She's so beautiful. Like, even in the vampire form, again, it's just, she's so incredibly sexy. Like, there's, I know that there are men out there who are just, again, like, like I was for some of the male vampire roles. Like, there are a lot of men who are just like, yeah, bite me wherever you want. Where do you want to bite it? I mean, t have at it. Pick, pick your location. It's yours. Do it. You got me. <laughs> I mean, and the eyes that they put on her, like, those are just amazing. And the, like, the headdress and just her whole outfit is just, it just makes her extremely sexy. And that's why she, of course, had to be number two. You know, R.I.P. Aaliyah, you know, it's very sad that she passed away at such a young age. But she did play this role very well. So, here we are at my number one. And of course, anybody that knows me already knew what my number one was going to be. And that is definitely Miss Kate Beckinsale as Celine from the Underworld series. Absolutely. Like, she is, of course, my favorite female vampire character of all time. I mean, and she is stunningly beautiful. She's so, I mean, look at this photo. She is so sexy. Like, man, if I loved women, I'd be all on that. But I'm not. I mean, I love them that, like, not in that way. In a non-sexual way. Let me put it that way. Um, <laughs> anyway. She's so powerful in this role. And that makes her even sexier because she's just so strong. And, like, if you haven't watched these movies, honestly, I, I highly recommend them for anybody who is a vampire buff. Because she just kicks ass in these movies. And she stays extremely salty and sultry and sexy. And, you know, the fact that her eyes turn that that color blue, you know, just like um, the character that played David. Like, the vampires, all their eyes kind of turn this blue, this electric blue. And it just makes her that much more sexier when she's in vampire mode. Like, so, 
These were my top 10 for my favorite sexiest uh, female vampire characters. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had some time enjoying these um, beautiful ladies, their sexiness, um, and appreciating them. And I hope it was entertaining for you. Thank you to those who have subscribed. And if you haven't done so yet, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like and comment. Leave me any comments with anything you'd like me to review or talk about or go over. I'd love to hear from you or just tell me how I'm doing. And please make sure to share it with your friends. Let's have a Cat's Crazy Corner. Let's get this party going. Let's keep it going, guys. Thank you to everybody who supports me already. We'll see you on the next video. And I hope everybody has a good rest of whatever you're doing. Bye-bye.